Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Hump day. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here on a Wednesday with 2022 Bowman Chrome Baseball 12 box hobby edition. Pick your team at number 14. This is the last break that's going to be at 20% off. The next one, which is already in the store, regular price. All card chip. Some great stuff here. A couple autos a box. Let's get to it. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. And we filled this one up straight up. No filler. I appreciate that. Makes it a little bit easier for us. Chris Butler, last bot mojo with the Angels. Good luck to him. Good luck to everybody. Full case. All right. Let's see what we got. Take this out of our, our inventory system as well. I wonder if, where's Rex? Rex is going to be disappointed that he missed Arthur in the chat. Second, let me just get the right one here. All right, let's do this. I don't think there's a if there's too much news, baseball news going on, but winter meetings are going to be starting up soon. So that should shed some light on where maybe some free agents might be might be going. But of course, it's going to be a lot of reports, a lot of, a lot of people linking players to different teams for various reasons. reasons. It is the hot stove. It's the silly season. Got to take every report with a grain of salt. But that being said, the Phillies are reportedly have uh, Trey Turner as their top priority. They could, they could use a, they could use a Trey Turner. Arthur is here. That's plenty of news for some. For some. For me, I don't know about I don't know about the others though. You got you, you have to reestablish your your kingdom here, Arthur, in the chat. Although TJ's there. There's TJ. Uh, Pirate sign Carlos Santana. Padres, Diamondbacks among teams interested in Xander Bogarts. There's a... I'm, I'm looking at MLBTradeRumors.com. Apparently... There's there's some news on a Yankees offer to Aaron Judge. I'll have to check that out when I'm ripping open the next box. All right, first one here. Good luck, everybody. And we got JoJo Blackman leading us off. 12 out of 150. That's going to be for the Rangers. That'll go to Adam Ledette in Texas. Nice little parallel. We'll do an autograph recap at the end of this break as well. Got a Jeremy Pena rookie card. That will be for the Strohs, Anthony, that one. I like this parallel here too. 89 out of 125. It's Henry with my Dodgers. Got a green shimmer, Ezekiel Tovar, 53 out of 99, for 
Colorado. That's Daniel with the Rockies. Here's the other side. And we got Yasser Mercedes. Nice. It's a nice one for the Twins. Henry also has the Twins. Got a Joey Votto, gold, 15 out of 50. Jonathan with the red legs. And we got a Jason Curio for Cleveland, for Chris. Him and his uh, brother Jackson are, the, are, are among, the, among the guys people are chasing here. This guy too, Christian Vaccaro. It's for Jacob and the Nationals. All right, box one, done. All right, so apparently the Yankees wasted a little, this is according, this is according to MLBTradeRumors.com, Yankees wasted a little time in offering, making a new offer to Aaron Judge following the commencement of the offseason. The general manager, Brian Cashman, revealing two weeks ago that the team had made an updated offer to the reigning AL MVP. Judges since met with the Giants, who are reportedly preparing an offer. The Dodgers are also reported a suitor. Details surrounding the judges' range have been sparse, but Jeff Passant reports the Yankees' most recent offer was in the neighborhood of eight years, $300 million. That's not a final offer, and the Yankees could increase their numbers if the market ne necessitates per the report. It's a ballpark figure, but the general range could potentially give Judge the largest average annual value ever secured by a position player. Wow, eight years, 300 million. It's 37 and a half million dollars a year. And eight? And Judge is a little bit older than, than you might think. I think Mike Trout's average annual value is about 36. Scherzer is, Scherzer's average annual value was 43 million, but that was a very short, what, two, two year deal or something like that? It was a very short deal. Who pays that? Do you pay that? If you're a GM, are you paying that? Is Giancarlo Stan still paying this guy? 224 out of 299. That's for the Yankees. That will be for Oren. And our autograph is for Tampa Bay. That's Alexander Ovalis. It's for Daniel in Tampa Bay. As a Dodgers fan, I don't I don't think the Dodgers are going to be offering him eight years. There's a uh, Rubio Angeles, 288 out of 499. If anything, the Dodgers would probably offer like a, a two or three year deal. A two or three year deal? What? I could see them doing a a two year deal at fifty million dollars a year. Three, maybe. Jose Ramos, 27 out of 50. Truth is, they've, they've got a lot of prospects in the pipeline. you got to think, maybe at some point, you got to see what you have in those players, right? Or the trade market might make, make a little more sense for them. There's Michael Garcia, 50 out of 50. Gold parallel for Jacob and the Royals. Edward Cabrera, Purple Chrome, 227 out of 250 for the fish. That'll be for Kevin. 
The blue Jose Altuve to 150. That will go to Anthony. Henry with the Mercedeses. There's the Edward Cabrera for Kevin and the Fish. And Bryce Harper has the biggest total contract, just in terms of sheer total value. As far as timing, the article continues, for a potential deal for Judge, it seems as though one could come together in a relatively quick fashion. Passing indicates that there's an exception, expectation a deal could be completed by the end of next week's winter meetings, which is in San Diego from December 4 through 7. San Diego's not that far away. Should, should I pop down there? See what's going on? It's not one of my favorite hotels in San Diego. So the, uh, that meshes with previous reporting from MLB.com's John Morosi, who made similar suggestions on MLB Network when discussing judges' meeting with the Giants. SNY's Andy Martino, meanwhile, writes that it would be a mild surprise if Judge doesn't come away from next week's meeting with an agreement in hand. Some, there's some luxury tax things that the Yankees have to think about, but but yeah, I mean, I feel like they've got to match or beat every offer that they get, and then just let Aaron Judge walk away from uh, from a bigger deal to join a team that he wants. Hey, Henry, what's going on? How are you? Jeff, what's up? For your first break with Jaspies, Henry is saying welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for finding us. Appreciate it. I think, I think I've called your number a couple times already. I'll do an autograph recap at the end here. Padres. Henry, there you go. Just in time. 57 out of 100 atomic refractor Harlan Susana Brandon Crawford 70 out of 250 could be could be a new teammate of Aaron Judge Indeed it's hump day Jeff It is Wednesday it is hump day All right, there's Chris Bryant, 468 out of 499, Rockies. There's Willie Fannis, Mets. That's going to be for Aaron Miller in the Metropolitans. Got Nick York, 97 out of 499. Yeah, I actually said it earlier. She should be here. Jeff, you gotta you gotta be here every minute. You gotta stay tuned in every minute. Can't say it all the time. It'd be that would overdo it a little bit. Happens once a week. Now if the Yankees don't retain Aaron Judge, where does where does uh where does all that money go? They were willing to move at least, do at least 37, what, 37 and a half million dollars a year for Aaron Judge.
Ah, well, now you can always get a little, little wireless, uh, little wireless headphone. Pop that into one ear. Listen to Jaspies. Let's do that while you're doing homework too. Just keep us on in the background. Alright, next box. We've got Nick Lodolo, 160 out of 499. Reds, Jonathan Kent. And we got Junior Perez, 186 out of 250. Purple Chrome autograph, TJ. And the A's on the board, TJ. Number 28, Oakland Prospect. Franco rookie card, and we got the Korean outfielder here, 71 out of 4.99. One Bin Cho, or Che Won Bin. I do the last names first. That goes to Edgar and the Cardinals, and there's Wander Franco, just the rookie card going to the Rays. That'll be for Daniel. Let's try to find some parallels of that guy. Spencer Torkelson. Oh, by the way, these uh, shimmers are not numbered, but that's why I'm kind of breezing by those. But they are, uh, they are going to ship. All cards ship in this Bowman Chrome break. Pretty sure the next one that's in the store right now should be all card ship as well. We always say one way or the other. If it doesn't say all cards ship. There's uh, Junior Perez. Another A for TJ. So you've got the purple one to 250 and then you got the base one now. Could be the, the beginnings of a rainbow maybe. We got uh, Yonski Noel, 104 out of 250 for Cleveland. That'll be for Chris. Bobby Witz will go to Jacob and the Royals. Jackson Merrill is going to be another one of those guys that we're searching for. Parallels and autograph wise. All right. First four boxes done. Third of the case done. Second third coming up. Another box. Good luck. Where does Aaron Judge go? What do you think, everybody? Do you feel like weighing in on that? Yankees latest offer in the ballpark of eight years, $300 million. Could be more if there are other people in the market willing to pay that. I think, uh, I think the ball is in uh, is in Aaron Judge's court now, and I'm sure they will try to negotiate, pay more if they need to. Ryan Harold thinks San Francisco. Yeah, I mean, my rivals, the Giants, could use could use that kind of bat in the middle of that lineup. They're going to start working in some more, some more of the young prospects there as well. If they got that guy anchoring that lineup. It is home for him. That's true. Although, did he grow up a Giants fan? I think where he grew up, maybe uh, maybe closer to uh, to Oakland, if anything.
Yeah, he is from Linden, California, which is yeah, which is uh, not quite the Bay Area. He's yeah, he is closer to Oakland than it is. It's east of the Bay Area, past Stockton, north of Modesto, more of a Central California kind of area. Probably closer to Sacramento. He was a Giants fan growing up. Oh, okay. There's Jordan Alvarez to 4.99, and there's Jackson Merrill. We we're just talking about him. That goes to Henry, new guy Mojo. No one's a fan of O. You know, it, how old is Aaron Judge? He must have been a, of an age where if he was growing up, there were some exciting A's teams in the early 2000s. He could have been. There's Jason Curio. You're welcome, Henry. There was a there was a little window of some o of Oakland A's fandom. Got Khalil Watson. 168 out of 250. He's on the box. Marlins, that's going to be for Kevin. Purple Shimmer. I wonder, how often does a big-time free agent in any sport go, go back home? There's Emmanuel Valdez for 87 out of 499. There's Hendry Mendez, 299 out of 250. That'll be for the Brew Crew, Oren, with the Brewers. Oh, Ryan Harold asking for autos already, like a rookie. We've got 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 autos to go. Before we start getting nervous. Stressing already. I got you. Okay, I see, I see. You're just putting it out there in the universe. Speaking it into existence. That can work too. Now, I've heard some people make the argument in terms of like people uh, going back home, right? That big free agents are usually superstars, right? They don't want to go back home because it's a hassle. They got to they gotta, they, they gotta talk to friends and family and teachers and other schoolmates that they're everyone wants tickets they're bugging you for this they're bugging you for that hey come by the local restaurant you know maybe show your face here put an autograph picture on the wall help the business blah 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 blah. you know it's like hey kid you know i was i was giving you ice cream cones when you were a kid you're a kid you can't put a picture on the wall what gives you know oh, now you're big time in us People come out of the woodwork. Hey, I'm your old buddy from elementary school. How about you put some money in my business? Hey, help on my car dealership, you know? Oh, you're not? Big timing me now, huh? You know, it comes with its own challenges going back home. You know, John Carlos Stanton, formerly Mike Stanton, grew up here in Los Angeles. He's not a Dodger. Definitely stayed on the opposite coast here. 
There's a Yendry Rojas, Padres autograph. Henry, you got Mojo. And these Julio Rodriguez is. Maybe we'll find some lower numbers of that guy right there, Daniel with the Mariners. Andrew Vaughn, 36 out of 199. I'm trying to think of other big name free agents who. Uh, who were always connected with going back home, but they never went. ended up going back home. Kevin Durant, maybe? Was was he a straight up? Yeah, I think he was a free agent, right? Yeah, didn't... I think a lot of people were thinking he's going to go go play for the Wizards. He's from D.C., go back home. Did not. There's Diego Velasquez. That's for Michael Schroeder and the Giants. And Michael P. in the house. What's going on? How are you? Right, Clayton Kershaw. He's going to sign with the Rangers. He's going to go back home, everyone says. I don't know who wants to play for that poverty franchise. It was, are the Nets any better? Before he joined? I guess maybe bigger media market, I suppose. Maybe he likes that. Uh, the Videl Bruhan refractor by the... Oh, not refractor, a uh, variation probably. No number on the back. Uh, is for Daniel and the Rays. Nice. Oh, no, Michael. Yay, hang in there. Kick back and relax with Jaspies. While you, while you ride it out. While you ride out the vid. All right, what, what are some other uh, free agents who people linked going back home? Goes back home. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I guess a lot of times guys don't go back home because their team back home is not very good. So maybe, you know. Giants are what? A season, a season removed. From a hundred games, see Prince William and Kate Middleton are in Boston. Are you are you seeing this? What are they doing at a basketball game? Um, it's been a while for Arthur too. Arthur asking for hits when there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve autos still left to go. Arthur like a rookie again. Right, that's right, Michael, yeah. Not that you need an excuse, but now you do. You'd be like, hey. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna treat myself. Yeah, Mark L, did you have them over did you have them over for tea? Like, they, look, they look very very nice. Raphael Devers, two ninety nine. Why are they why are they in town? For reals, for reals. Not not going to Mark's for tea. I'm just going to pop right over. There's JT Schwartz for the Mets. Aaron Miller, Mets. Speaking of Boston, there's Rafael Devers. Oh, Arthur, definitely not a rookie. Out of practice, maybe, but not not not, not a rookie. He's been supporting Jaspies for many, many years. There's Curtis Mead. 418 out of 499 for Tampa Bay. Uh, my uh, my mother calls the Princess of Wales Katie. 
Like as if she's friends with her. <laughs> Katie. That cracks me up. There's a Yeson Morabelle, 182 out of 299. Speckle autograph for the Rangers. Adam for the Rangers. Like mom, you're not you're not friends. You're not friends with uh you're not friends with her. Was there uh, those those shimmers are not numbered. I've been passing by every shimmer. By the way. So just but all card chip. Whatever it was. All right, there's Pete Alonzo for the Mets, 250, purple chrome. Fernando Tatis Jr., 57 out of 150. Blue for Henry and the Padres. Yeah, I got. I have specific instructions here on who gets the treatment. Christian Vaccaro, Roderick Arias, Jackson and Jason Curio, Yasser, Mercedes, Yankil Fernandez, Jackson Merrill. And then the rookies, Julio Rodriguez, Wander Franco, Bobby Witt, Jeremy Pena, O'Neal Cruz, Spencer Torkelson get the sleeve treatment. Otherwise, I'm going to end up having to sleeve every shimmer and then... Oh yeah, the, the, the Prince and Princess of Wales, Mark L. is reporting, are meeting with Xander Bogarts. I, I suppose you couldn't really... Jordan Lawler not on the list, sorry Arthur. But hey, if there's numbered cards or autographs, absolutely. If, if, the, if the Prince and Princess of Wales told Xander Bogarts that they have to stay, that he has to re-sign with the... Boston Red Sox, I think, uh, I think you'd have to. Did they, uh, Anyone watch the pregame of this? Did they did they uh, present the the Prince of Wales? Did they uh, present him with like a a Celtics jersey or something? Like that? I, I'd like to see him pop on a Celtics jersey. Let's see what happens there. We got Luis Chevalier. Daniel with the Mariners. Twins, that'll be for Henry. Ronald Acuna Jr. to 99. That'll be for the Braves, that'll be for Nick. Kraft called in a favor, although I would think that uh, Fenway Sports Group would have a little more, might possibly have a little more interaction for them considering they own Liverpool in the English Premier League. And I think the, I think Prince William is like the, the sort of ceremonial president of the Football Association in England. Alexander Suarez, autograph for Michael in the Giants. And there's Joe Ryan, 44 out of 199. That'll be for the Twins, Henry. Am I sporting Rock and Roll Hall of Fame swag? No. This is a t-shirt I got 
uh, when the Beatles were on tour in 1964. So that, that's where I got this when I saw him in concert in America in 1964. I remember it like it was yesterday. It's so Oscar Colas to 199. That's for the White Sox. That's going to be for Michael. And the final third. Were any of the Beatles sports fans? No, I don't think so. I want to say like, like a lot of Liverpudlians. I don't think I don't think they really picked a side between Liverpool and their rivals Everton, because I think most families have have like aunts and uncles who are on, you know, the blue side of Liverpool and others on the red side of Liverpool. And I think they were always pretty savvy in the sense that they never really hitched their wagon on, on one club or the other. So they were very always diplomatic about that whenever asked. But I don't think they really cared for... Uh, we're really too into sport. I think there's stories of Paul McCartney going to a, an FA Cup match when he was a kid, but like a lot of kids do. But I think uh, I think I think Paul kind of did. John probably not. He ended up going to going to art school. I think he was a little too too art schoolish for that. Ringo, I didn't think cared for much sport. George uh, is a big race car fan, so I think he watched, I think George enjoys the F1. If anybody, I think it would have been Paul who, who, would have, who would have mildly enjoyed the footy. Go, oh, what's going on? Ooh, pick team 13. It was not unlucky at all. It was a good case for you. Congrats. Ringo apparently Arsenal, okay. Now here's another Alexander Suarez, this time a refractor to 499. It's Michael and the Giants. Ooh, a Wander Franco Aqua. 114 out of 199. And that lava parallel as well. Daniel Gray, Tampa Bay. Gray with the bay. Sharp looking card there. Luis Meza, 13 out of 99. And a Jason Curio for Chris Butler. And that's for the Blue Jays. That's going to be for Eric Leal. All right, hey, Ryan. Is this the Pirate? You're, wait, you don't have the Pirates in this one? Robert has the Pirates. He gets the Jordani de los Santos. Is that not right? No, Robert has the pot. Oh! You're looking for a Prieto for the Orioles. I read that too quickly. I read it as Pirates. Robert, you have the Pirates, rightfully. You bought them straight up, thank you. So that De Los Santos goes to you. I got all excited for nothing, Ryan Harold. Thought I was gonna get you a hit. 50 out of 50, Wilson Contreras. It's also a free agent.
Jeremy Pena, Astros, Anthony. All right, sorry, got your hopes up. And so we still got three boxes left. We got still three boxes to go. Uh, but definitely, definitely now-ish is when you kind of start thinking, all right, Joe, where are my hits? Where are my hits? Good luck, everybody. Final three boxes. I feel like it's been a minute or two since we've uh, since we've seen a super fractor. Right? We're even an out of five. Are there out of fives in this set? I think so. I think we saw some a number of cases ago. And I feel like man. We'll see. Good luck, everyone. There are reds. Okay. Out of five. See, I think I want to say maybe between cases one through five, or maybe five through ten. Which ones did I do? I, I came back on Monday, and anyway, I feel like I feel like I saw some out of fives earlier on. We did get that Aaron Judge super super. Was that out of Bowman Chrome? I think so. I feel like I feel like in the next I feel like in the upcoming cases including this one I feel like I feel like we're due for a super fractor of somebody something somewhere We got a Danny D Andrade Andrade Anyway, that'll be for the twins, Aaron Miller of the twins Here's a speckle of Jason Morabel to two ninety nine. That's for Texas. That'll be for Adam L. Bobby Witt Jr. going to Kansas City. That'll be for Jacob and Roderick Arias for the Yankees. That'll be for Oren. And we got some William here. Fuchsia, Magenta, Shimmer, 135 out of 499. William Bergola for Inku and the Phillies. <laughs> yeah, why is, the, why is the Princess of Wales not eating? She doesn't have a beer in her hand. She's got a bottle of water. Mark, is this one of those things where, where they're going to leave it like halftime? They're not saying the entire game, right? Here's a Stanley Castillo, Tampa Bay. That's gray with the bay. And there's no nachos in the princess's hands. No beer. There's Pedro Pineda to 125. Not that the Princess of Wales needs the uh, attention, but how awesome would it be if she just got a beer and then just pounded it and then was like, what's up, dropped the cup, and then left. It's Pedro Pineda for uh, TJ, the A's. Yeah, there, there might be, you're right, Mike Tower, there, there may be some, some royal nacho protocol that we are unaware of, where where the princess does not eat nachos in public or something like that, or while sitting, so as to avoid any uh, nacho mishaps. Perhaps protocol is nachos are only consumed whilst at a table, 
or whilst standing. We haven't gotten to that season of the crown yet, Mike Tower. But I'm sure they'll cover it. Can't remember the queen eating anything that odd. I mean, by the time the queen got into got to a certain age, I'm sure they're like, this, you're, you're not have you're not having tacos. The prince's whale is still relatively young. I feel like you don't really see the royal family eat too often, huh? If you just join us, ladies and gentlemen, the Prince and Princess of Wales are uh, taking in a Celtics game. Miami Heat versus the Celtics. Pretty good one here, 33-33 at the, just a, under a minute left in the first quarter. Why they're there, I don't know. Maybe having tea at Mark's place. Maybe trying to get uh, trying to get Xander Bogarts to stay. Although Xander Bogarts, I believe, is is Dutch. So maybe I don't know. I don't know if the if if the Netherlands still has any sort of royalty system there. What countries still have a, a system like the uh, like the UK? Monaco maybe. I think Monaco might still have some sort of royalty. Not like actively ruling, but I think they're still involved. Twenty four out of seventy five. There's Danny again for the Twins. This time a yellow parallel for Henry. And we got Jason Dominguez, green. 25, 75 that is, out of 99 for the Yankees. It'll be for Oren. Wales did not do well. So when they, when they go back, they'll have to maybe send a condolence telegram or something like that. All right, and we got another pirate, Jack Herman, Robert, with the Buckos. All right, let's see if we can find some more parallels here. There's Max Muncie, 233 out of 299. The A's drafted one Max Muncie a while ago, who's on the Dodgers now. And then uh, well, they had to get another one, and they did. <laughs> nice Mike Towers. Pulsick doing better with his injury. It appeared that he was hit in his Netherlands. Ryan liked it. This is Daniel Vasquez, 250. Yeah, they're calling it a uh, they're calling it a pelvic contusion. Is what they're, is what they're saying? All right, final box. Keep those fingers crossed. Play to the whistle, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Appreciate it. Yeah, I feel like that's code word, right? If you're getting hit in the Netherlands, it's a pelvic contusion, a groin strain. Other euphemisms they can use. And what an amazing goal. That'll go down in history as one of the greatest American goals thus far. It's really sold out on that. 
The game is at 7 a.m. USA Netherlands is 7 a.m. my time on a Saturday. I think I'm gonna try to try to get up early and go somewhere for it. Maybe a pub. It is a day off from me. Oh, look at that. That's the Arizona Fall League hit right there. Perhaps a pub? A bar? I think the LA Galaxy Stadium is having an outdoor event. Outdoor watch party. Maybe somewhere in downtown LA. I don't know. We'll find out. I'll report back after that. It's going to be a tough match, though. All right, fingers crossed, everybody. Thank you, and good luck. Let's see what our auto is going to be. It is a Dodger. Ryan Doncon. That will be for Henry and the Dodgers. There you go, Henry. There's a Leover Paguero to 150. That's for the Pirates. That's for Robert. Jeremy Pena goes to Anthony and the Astros. All right, let's see what that relic and auto is all about. Actually, let's slide that. We'll see that last. We got a speckle Henry Davis to two ninety nine. Your former number one overall pick. There's the Christian Vaquero for the Nats. It's Henry Davis Speckle. Luis Robert Refractor for Michael to four ninety nine. And behind Byron Buxton. Byron Buxton reveals a Oriole. Cedric Mullins. That's for you, Ryan. Jersey and autograph. 67 out of 150. Nice. The last one. Going to you. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's your break. Quick little recap here. There's the Cedric Mullins. Some nice color in some of these autos. I like the parallels. A lot of fun here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Appreciate it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next Bowman Chrome break. Bye-bye.